If you create and run Facebook ads, it's absolutely vital to understand the Facebook ad structure between campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Facebook has structured their advertising platform to make it easy for marketers to target multiple groups of people and also to test and run different pieces of creative. And they do this through the advertising structure. At the highest level of the advertising structure is the objective. So the objective links to a campaign. So I start, my starting point for creating an ad is my campaign. Each campaign can only have a single objective. So if I said, well, I want to get leads and I also want to drive reach, I would have to create two separate campaigns because those each have different objectives. So one campaign, one objective. So I start with my objective. Uh, let's say my objective is uh, traffic, which is the ad that I'm in the process of creating. So I've set my objective, which is traffic. Once my campaign is set, so I have my campaign at the top, now I can create multiple different ad sets within that campaign. So within my campaign, I could create different ad sets. Typically, each ad set will have a different audience. So for example, I could say, again, my goal is to drive traffic to my website, but I might have different audiences. So audience one could be marketers, audience two could be job seeker, and audience three could be entrepreneurs. So within one objective, I can set my multiple targets. This is gonna allow that campaign to reach lots of different people, but each of them will get a message that's a little more customized to them. So primarily the ad set is used to create different audiences within the process. I also though can control my placements, meaning do I want my ad to show up on Instagram, on Facebook, and or on the audience network. And I also can set a different budget and schedule for each ad set if I want to. So I could say, well, this target audience I only wanna spend $5 on, this one I wanna spend $10 on. This target audience I want to run for a month, this target audience only want to run for two months. So you can make changes like that if you wanted to, but for the most part, the ad set level allows you to target different people. Then below the ad set level is the ads. Here you can create multiple ads within each ad set. So my campaign is for traffic, my ad sets are marketer, job seeker, and entrepreneur. And then for each of those, I may have three or four different customized ads that I'm testing. Or I could just create one for each audience if I wanted to. If I create multiple ads within an ad set, what Facebook will do is they'll show all of the ads initially, but then they'll start to optimize and show the ads that get the best results. So for example, if my objective again is traffic, and I look at entrepreneurs as my first ad set, Within that ad set, I could have three different ads that I'm running. And each ad would maybe have a different picture or I could test different text. And once my campaign goes live, Facebook will automatically optimize and show the most relevant content. So the Facebook campaign structure really makes it easy to do a few things. The structure first makes it easy to reach multiple target audiences. The second thing it does is it makes it easier to test multiple creatives and see what's working best for you. By using the campaign structure fully when you create your Facebook ads, you'll find it's faster and easier to get really granular in both your targeting and to, create, to test multiple creatives than you ever thought. A good Facebook manager will leverage this to stay organized in creating their content but also to be able to really create ads that get the best results for each specific audience.